I want to show you how you can collect information about a stock and to construct or keep track of your uh, stock portfolio in Microsoft Excel um, 365. So I'm going to start by just typing in the name of some companies here. So I'm going to type in Microsoft. Uh, let me see. Johnson and Johnson. Amazon, eBay, uh, let's grab one more, let's say um, Google. So I have the names of the companies, perhaps I don't know their ticker symbol, and what I can do is if I go to the data tab and insert, you see there are certain functions here, stocks, currencies, geography depending on what computer you're using or how your um, spreadsheet is set up, you may actually see this information in a little um, bar inside the data tab. So you may not have to go to the to this, this thing right here um, and click it on. But I don't happen to have that, so let me do this. So let me highlight these uh, five companies and let me click stocks. And let's see what happens. Here we have, they've come up with the um, ticker and the name for four of the companies. Johnson & Johnson, they don't recognize right now. So they give me some choices here. And I would like Johnson & Johnson on the New York Stock Exchange, so I'm going to select them. And here we have this information. And let me just um, expand the column. So it makes it a little easier to read. And you can see there are there's a little icon on the left of each company's name. So if I click that on, I get information about the company. In this case, information about Microsoft. What was its price? Um, the name, what exchange it trades on, you know, what currency it trades in, high, low, 52-week high, 52-week low, beta, etc etc price earnings ratio now suppose I want to construct a portfolio suppose I have a portfolio of these five stocks now you can actually go in here and when you click on a company you get this little card and you could click for example PE and it'll give the, us the PE for that particular company we could also highlight let me just get rid of that we could highlight all of the cells and click on that card and click say price and we'll get the price for all of the companies now what I'd really like to do so let me just clear that column is set up a table this is going to be a much better way for keeping track of these stocks and for constructing or keeping track of a portfolio of stocks so I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these cells that I have the uh, names in and I'm going to say insert table and my table does not have headers so I'm just gonna say okay and so it's created a table and you can format this table if you would like you can change the table design um, I'll just leave it the way it is I can type in um, change the name here stock name and let's say if I click in to any portion of the table I get that card again suppose I'd like to start off by getting let's say the ticker symbol for all the companies so let me just click ticker symbol and in fact it gives me the ticker symbol for all of them and it also gives me you know a title up here let's say I happen to want to get the PE for all of them same thing I'm going to click this card and click PE so I see the PE for all these company stocks. Now, suppose for argument's sake, I have a certain number of shares. And I'm going to construct my portfolio based on the price. And actually, I should get the price. Well, let me put the shares in first. So let's say I have uh, 100 shares of, John, of Microsoft, 250 of Johnson & Johnson, um, 150 of Amazon, 
300 in eBay, 400 in Alphabet, which is uh, Google's parent. And let's put in the price. So I'm going to put in price. And I have the price for each company stock. So let's figure out what the value for each holding happens to be. So I'm just going to type in a title here, value. And I'm going to say equals. And I would do this much like I would do in a regular spreadsheet, not a table. And I'm going to say, click this on, times this one. So shares times price. But what, in this case, because I set up a table, I don't have to copy the formula down. It does the multiplication for me. So this is a really nice way to keep track of the value of your portfolio. Let's suppose I want to total up this row. So I want to know the total value of my portfolio. Again, in ta table design, I can pick style and I can say total row. And there, in fact, it has totaled the value of all of this. Suppose I want to know the number of shares I own of all stocks combined. I can go here and I can just have that sum up the number of shares. So I have 1,200 shares of stock. Okay, probably not that useful since you have different amounts of shares in each stock. What happens if I want to add a company stock? So I have, happen to buy um, Apple and I add it to my portfolio. What can I do here? Well, I can click, for example, total and hit the um, right mouse key and say insert insert above and you'll notice that it has you know hashtag field here so it's waiting for some information once I tell it what the stock is so I'm going to type in Apple let's see what happens here okay, it's not sure what, okay so Apple comes up the PE is 29.43 the price is 162.41 and let's say we happen to have 500 shares of this and it will, again, do the multiplication. It will update the total value of my portfolio. So this is really a great way to keep track of your stock portfolio. Simple. It works in, only in Microsoft uh, 365 or Excel 365. So it doesn't work in the desktop version. But it's a really nice way to keep track of your portfolio. You can update the prices when prices change and it will update the value of your portfolio you could have also put in things like the um, the price you bought it at so you could see what your you know profit or loss happened to be from the time you purchased it but again a great way to keep track of your stock portfolio very simple using this stock function and by creating a table to um, house this information.